friends, I am your Shobha. Today I am going to start about a hydrosphere, year standard in English. Okay. Then let us see hydrosphere distribution of water bodies. Earth known as a blue planet or watery planet. However, it contains 70.78% covered by water. Now what are the water bodies? Here first one. Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, then Arctic Ocean, then Ocean, then Sea, then Gulf, then Bay, then Strait, then after words nothing but Isthmus. Here oceans are a deep and large expanse of water found between continents, the Indian Ocean between Asia, Africa and Australia. Then coming to the sea, here a sea is a part of the ocean extended or projected for inland. Then Gulf, that is we will be find it is a part of an ocean or a sea that penetrated into the land. Then bay, this is nothing but where we find uh, these are small semicircular water bodies particularly surrounded by the land. Then strait is narrow strip of water body joining two large water bodies that is Park Strait. Park Strait, Strait of uh, Gibraltar and uh, Bering Strait. Then Isthmus. Isthmus is a narrow stretch of a land mass joining constructing ocean canals that is Suez Canal between Asia and Africa, Panama Canal between the North America and the South America. Then next onwards here we will be find the land that is relief of the ocean floor we will be find land. Then coming to the continental shelf, here this is continental shelf, then continental slope, however it is a slope like this type, it is called as continental slope, then continental deep that is abyssal plain, then marinal trench, this is a sea level. Then coming to the temperature and the salinity of ocean water, temperature sea or water ocean water temperature varies according to the latitudes and the depth of the ocean floor. Salinity, it is a percentage of salts dissolved in the sea or ocean water. The average salinity of the water, ocean water is 35 ppt that is parts per thousand. Coming to the next one, ocean currents, warm currents. These currents are flow from the equatorial region to the subpolar region. Cold currents, we will be find these currents flow towards the equatorial region. And here we will be find that is a Pacific Ocean's currents, north current, south currents. Here warm currents, cold currents, south ocean, so warm currents and cold oceans. Okay. And even, even here we will be find Atlantic currents, north currents, south currents, warm currents, cold currents, warm current, cold currents. Okay. Now Pacific Ocean, North warm currents, North equatorial current we find, cold currents, Oyashio currents, then South equatorial current, then old currents, Peru or Humboldt currents, then Atlantic Ocean currents, North warms, North equatorial current, Gulf Stream, cold Labrador, Labrador current. South, South Equatorial Current, Cold, Falkland Current, okay. Then, Tides, what are the Tides? Tides are the periodic rise and fall in the sea or ocean level. Tides types are high tides and low tides. Here in this way we will be finding spring tide and neap tide. Spring tide, it takes place when the earth, the moon and the sun are in the same straight line that is the new moon and full moon. Then coming to the next one here, uses of tides, 
help navigation second one help in the location of ports and harbors third one it keeps the harbors clean fourth helps in the salt preparation they help in the fishing they help to generate energy in the form of tidal energy coming to the next one here conservation of oceans reduce plastic second reduce waste third one conserve water then practice a safe boating then nuclear waste should not be dumped into the sea or ocean fourth one oil transportation should be done through pipelines seventh exploitation and destruction b of our beaches must be controlled with this please watch this thanks for watching please share to your friends and subscribe to my channel viewers shobha thank you thank you very much